Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, long story short, basically I'm an expat in France and on this channel uh, the goal is to share my experience, to give you some tips, if you want to as well to move abroad and as well I will show you around some places that I visit here in France. So if you're interested to know uh, more, just check the videos below and don't forget to subscribe. Today the video is about my 10 favorite looks from Cannes Film Festival. As you know, we had uh, this event here in Cannes and after uh, that I did my own research, I will show you today my favorite looks. So without further ado, let's jump to the video. So to share with you the looks, I will just use my phone and uh, basically I just uh, looked around in Instagram and I selected my outfits. So for the number 10, the celebrity that I chose is Ellen Fanning. So the, the look uh, that I picked was this one that you will be able to see it here and um, honestly I uh, decided to be the number 10 because um, I cannot say that she's not beautiful in this dress, she looks beautiful but as well she looks really uh, uh, angelical I find it too much put together for my uh, style but I cannot say that she does not look beautiful she almost uh, makes me uh, remember uh, a, someone from the royal family the main reason why I uh, selected is really because yes I cannot say that the dress was is not beautiful but uh, it's not my favorite uh, style so for number nine the celebrity that I chose she's called Camila uh, let me just confirm Camila Moron and um, once again uh, this uh, dress she looks beautiful in this dress but on my opinion it's still missing something uh, she, I, I find that I don't know, for my opinion still I find it too simple for this type of event um, but I chose still as one of my favorites because she remind me uh, the Greek uh, ancient uh, dresses when you see those movies um, it always remind me this um, this style um, and I really like her makeup and her style she, she's elegant on these topics and the necklace indeed is really beautiful but the dress itself I think that I don't know it's missing something um, I don't know what but it's missing something so let me know if you agree and if you share the same opinion number eight uh, this uh, girl she's called Lala Rouge she was she was as well a youtuber to be honest I don't know what she's doing now because I don't follow her for a while um, this is really hard for me to put it in this place because I have a mixed opinion regarding her look so she's on this really stunning red dress I love the color, I love the, the, the necklace that she put uh, to combine with the dress, I love her hairstyle, I love the makeup, but I think that the dress does not suit her so well. When you see it from the front, yes, she looks stunning, but when you look her from the back, it almost seems that she's pregnant, I don't know. I think it's not uh, such a feminine uh, cut, actually. After that I saw this picture I even went to her Instagram to confirm if she was pregnant or not because I was in doubt. So that is the only reason why um, that I don't put this look on a more high position because I find that it's not uh, the best uh, cut that uh, a dress can have. Moving forward for the 7th position I selected Selena Gomez. Uh, when I went to the Cannes Festival opening, she was there and she was the star of the night. Everyone was going crazy with her and she was looking really beautiful. I mean, she was looking really elegant. I mean, the, the, she's really beautiful and the makeup and the hairstyle that she chosen were just looking so good on her. But um, the only thing that I, as well I have a mixed opinion is uh, the outfit itself. It's a bit more modern than the traditional uh, 
gala uh, dresses that we are used to, to see and uh, um, yeah, yes it's modern but still for me I, f I find it that uh, perhaps it's a bit casual for the type of event, I don't know and that's why I, I uh, put it her on the 7th position so moving forward on the 6th position I chose the uh, outfit of a Portuguese model uh, she's a model on Victoria's Secret so for sure that you already saw her and she's called Sara Sampaio and she is in this peach dress that I find it, that she looks really princess as well uh, she looks really beautiful but uh, somehow I feel that this color is not her color it does not uh, stand out and um, as well for my style I find that the tail of the dress perhaps is too with too much um, pompons this is not pompons but you understand what I mean and um, that's why I put it in the 6th position because she seems like a little um, uh, cute princess but um, I find that this color does not suit her so well so yeah this is my uh, opinion for her look uh, let me know if you agree as well for the fifth best look uh, I chose one look from J Jasmine uh, Tux she's also a Victoria's Secret Angel and she's in this uh, marvelous blue dress uh, I really find that uh, this uh, color suits her really well and she's just stunning. I really uh, like the way that uh, it was fitting her. Um, the color just um, uh, really looks really good on her. I really like the simple makeup. The hair is also uh, good. The only thing that I don't like so much on this um, dress is the fact that it seems almost that it has like some feathers design on it and um, that is the only thing that I'm not such a fan on the dress but apart from that um, I, I mean I cannot say that uh, nothing else she looks uh, amazing so for the fourth uh, best outfit I uh, select one outfit from Iris Mitanahe I think it's like this that you pronounce she was Miss France and Miss Universe she uh, really beautiful uh, woman and she was on this really beautiful dress, pink dress that for me she just seemed like a, a princess really uh, she she's really so elegant, so so feminine above all I think she looks really feminine on this uh, outfit but uh, I just find perhaps her tail that is a bit too much um, for my style but uh, it's, it's the only point or the less positive uh, point that I find in this outfit is the I find the tails as too much uh, these actually are really feathers there are a lot of feathers for me and um, but she, she looks stunning after a while it's a bit hard to say that this outfit is better than the other because they are all looking really good so I hope that I'm not being unfair to anybody and uh, it may be a surprise but I'm not just picking up uh, female uh, outfits for the third outfit uh, I chose uh, these two handsome guys that are Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio I think this picture was the picture of the event I mean everyone was speaking about this picture they are both aging but they look so charming, I mean, they are so classy on this picture, I really find like, whoa, what can I say more? I know that for men it's easier because you use a smoking and it's done, you're good to go, but I don't know, on these two guys I find that they really look really charming and uh, yeah, I put them in the third position because I, I really think that this uh, picture was really uh, talked about and uh, they deserve this uh, place my second favorite outfit is from Camila Coelho if you don't know her she's a famous youtuber uh, and she's uh, from Brazil and she was just I don't know she was really uh, she was really a woman on power I would say on this dress she looks really I don't know, I don't even have words to describe because she 
she's elegant, she's uh, she looks stunning, and as well, it's like sexy at the same time. She really came there to 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 conquer the day, and I really think that you could not look away if she would pass by because she catched attention with this dress. It's just like you know, girl, and. Despite that the dress is quite sparkling, I don't find it too much um, because, I mean, it, it's a ceremony that normally it involves a lot of glamour and so on so I find that it's appropriate. I find that she's really stunning and what I uh, find different from the previous look uh, is that this one requires, I guess, more confidence and she looks really confident on that dress and she looks really um, how to say, she really seems that she has everything uh, put together and uh, I don't know, I really find that she was the woman of the, of the night for sure uh, and uh, that's it. My favorite look, so the number one, is this one from Sara Sampaio, yes, again Sara Sampaio, but she is just amazing on this black dress, she is super elegant she is like, I don't know, uh, for me it's my favorite dress. I really like black, but moreover, it's, uh, I find that she's uh, classy, she's classic, but she's sexy at the same time. She's really, um, I don't know, I, I really think that this dress, it's, it's a mix of uh, elegant, but as well, it calls a lot of attention. There, there's nothing that I don't like about this dress and the way that she looks on this dress. So her makeup as well, she did really well of putting red lipstick to, to pop up a bit of color on her, on her look and uh, that's it, I, I mean she, she's just amazing on this dress. So that was it for the outfits, I hope that you liked it, let me know in the comments below if you agree with them and as a little parenthesis as well, uh, if you like this um, cinema vibe and you are more for the artistic side, I really recommend you to come here in Cannes on this season because it is just the best, not just because of the event itself, the Cannes Film Festival well, where you will see all the celebrities, but as well because they promote a lot the city during these days. They have a cinema outdoors every single day for free, so they just have its uh, limited seats, but it's open to everyone, so I, I find this amazing that you can just go to the beach, sit every little blanket and just watch uh, all the movie. I did that last weekend and I, I just watched a movie that was 25 years old, so I find this really a nice initiative and uh, I definitely recommend you to come here. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you don't lose anything of this adventure and give me a like if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, share the video if you find it interesting and if there is someone else that may find it in interesting as well and uh, I see you next Sunday, bye, ciao!